August 12th, USDA, Fort Pierce. Couple issues. Um, the sign uh, just got done with the walkthrough with Carl uh, at the USDA. He wants the sign to be removed. We have an issue with the flagpole. The solicitation calls for a 25-foot flagpole. We had planned on just reutilizing um, uh, this one uh, because uh, of code. Uh, once you get into replacing it, um, there's uh, you have to go back through site plan approval for flagpole installation. So we're looking at either just taking it down and putting some flags. Uh, up above the uh, the uh, the doors, uh, hanging flat or uh, posts that come out of the building, uh, which we don't need to do that. Charlie, uh, they're going to be checking on that. Carl, rather, is going to be checking on it. Uh, I'll do a walkthrough on the on the outside. The striping's being done today. Looking good. We got the handicap spaces going in. Fire lane. All the parking spaces have been repainted. Fencing is uh, is all complete. The uh, roller gates are going in as we're talking. There will be some post lease. Uh, we talked to Carl, uh, and what we're going to do is make a list of some post lease um, uh, issues. Uh, that will need to be done uh, for uh, city and uh, inspection purposes. We cleaned out approximately, if you can see, we, we cleaned out almost 10 feet of, of brush all the way back here. The fence is uh, going to be a nice sight. Uh, we, they added this uh, little pad a ramp that goes up and that's been put in. Doors uh, all cut in. Kind of just keep walking around, give you a visual. This is going to be the manual gate that's going to slide over. Looking at your secured parking lot. Dumpster enclosure. More parking. The asphalt's been cut and patched and tied in. New 800 meter, 800 uh, amp panel box went in today. All the landscaping, new trees, put mulch in. We'll kind of get a uh, outside view. Walk in, we still got a pane of glass that's got to be replaced. I was here yesterday when it was definitely pouring. And uh, the building's watertight. There was a couple uh, small areas where there was some water where we're going to pull that out and, uh, and uh, we, we put new thresholds in. Doors are going in the hardware. We're starting on the final today. There's an issue with the ceiling height. Um, and I'll try to get better explanation. But you can see, due to the configuration, the <coughs> air handlers and the drain pipes are hung so low so we had to lower the ceiling height from the uh, from the uh, required or the uh, the, uh, the foot of the nine foot that was in the solicitation um, we're checking uh, Carl was here I think he's okay with it there is nine foot in these but you can see some of the beams, this probably shows it better where if we were to go up there would be a lot of jogging on the, uh, on the ceiling. We were able to get uh, nine foot in some of the rooms. All the mechanicals in, zone dampers are all done, the control panels are all in and wired. Um, you can see all the electrical boxes that were put against the wall in here, all along these walls. 
lock back into the and then this is the area with the cabinet. Cabinets are all in. Countertops are going to be going in on uh, Tuesday. This is the lab area. Yeah, and the double doors. You walk back here. IT room is to the right. Um, Jose's requesting more air conditioning in here. We're checking with the mechanical engineer just to make sure that it's not going to throw off his calculations. The flooring's going in today, getting started. They're going to work all weekend. His and her ba uh, male and female bathrooms. Uh, bath partitions are here. A lot of floor prep, a lot of floor prep to get it smooth. So the game plan right now, uh, the game plan is we've got another um, uh, walk through with the architect, engineer, and everybody on Thursday at 2 o'clock. And at that point, uh, construction cleanup is coming in on Friday. And any uh, that will give us the weekend to, uh, to take care of any loose items. And then any, uh, and then uh, Carl's got uh, movers set to come in on the 23rd.